Hi everyone, welcome back to my planet. My name is Maureen and I do not have my little name tag here, but it is another weigh-in day update video. I also don't have my little slip that shows my weight and how I did this week. So you're just gonna have to take my word for it. I promise I'm not gonna lie about my weight or my results on the scale. So scouts honor, I promise. But if you're new to this channel, that this is pretty much what I talk about. Weight loss, my weight loss journey. I started it to like encourage myself. But some of you I've heard that I'm encouraging, which is so mind blowing and awesome and makes me feel great. And you guys help me feel great too. I honestly wasn't thinking anyone would watch this, but you guys are, and you seem to be liking this content. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for tuning in every week. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Love to you guys. So anyways, if you want more of that, if you want more weight loss content, go ahead or an encouragement content, encouragement, blah, blah, blah. Go ahead and subscribe, like this video. And I love hearing from you guys. So be sure to leave a comment. Anyways, let's get to the juicy stuff, shall we? My weigh-in, how did it go? My week went well. Monday was Eid, Ramadan's over. So we had Eid on Monday and I had donuts. My mom was giving it out. I had donuts, I had cake, I had pizza. Mm, I did not hold back. No, Muslims get like two holidays here. I, I need to have fun. So I, that's what I did. I had that. And then the rest of the week, I did not stay within my points, but I also wasn't eating like crazy. And then yesterday, my mosque had KFC and you don't get halal KFC anywhere. So yeah, absolutely. I had KFC and I got on the scale this morning and I was down 1.2, which means I'm 1.8 away from goal. So to get there, and I did this math before, <laughs> before the video, because if you watch my videos before, you know, I'm me and numbers, we're not friends. So that means if I want to get to goal in two weeks, I'll have to lose 0.9. I don't lose like two, three pounds anymore. So I hope I can do 0.9. I don't know, but I'm so close. Before the summer's ending, I'm sure I'm going to get to goal. Before summer maybe starts. I don't know, but that's, that's what happened. And I'm so excited. Yay! So, anyways, I did go to my meeting, obviously, and I don't really do weight like weekly Weight Watcher topics videos, but let me know if you want me to because I know a lot of people don't have Weight Watcher meetings where they're at, so this this might be it. This might be your meeting for the week. So let me know if you want me to talk about it. But for today's meeting, I was really into it. If you don't know how a Weight Watcher meeting goes, for the past year or so, they've been doing monthly topics. Like last week, last week, last month's monthly topic was, I don't even remember. <laughs> sometimes they're a mess. I'll admit, sometimes, a lot of times they're a mess. But this month, I really like it. It's busting food myths. So I'm going to talk about this week's. This week, the food myth is carbs. Carbs. I know carbs is one of the one of those ooh topics that gets like everyone riled up, like online dating or some I don't know something like it's one of those alluring topics, you know. So let's let's talk carbs. Let's talk carbs. So carbs. Here's the myth. The myth is that you need to reduce or completely eliminate carbs from your diet in order to lose weight. True or false? absolutely false. It's not true at all. As we all know, it's calories in versus calories out. But many of us are eating more carbs than are worth it. And I feel like that's true for like any single, any single nutrient or any single food. We are eating more than necessary for some stuff less than necessary. We're not getting a, like a decent amount. You, what's decent for us, you know? So anyways, carbs, they do not cause you to gain weight. I've heard that a lot growing up and carbs have been so ingrained into our heads. And this is like one of those stickler things that we just can't get out. And it's like carbs bad. Carbs are not bad. Since I've been growing up, I've heard like, don't eat a lot of bread. It's going to make you fat. Don't, don't eat that bread. It's fattening. This is fattening. That's fattening. No food is inherently fattening. It's eating too much of it. That includes carbs. Carbs are not fattening. Eating too many? Yes, but... Yeah, eating too many of anything is, but carbs, no, you do not gain weight by eating carbs. You don't need to reduce or eliminate them at all from your diet. Um, eliminating anything, really, it's not helpful at all. In the short term, yes, 
Absolutely. Like if you know right now that next weekend you have a pool party at the Playboy Mansion, then yeah, eliminating carbs would help get ripped if that's your goal. goal. But I don't know about you, I have never been invited to a pool party at the Playboy Mansion, so I'm not gonna eliminate carbs for a short term. This is a lifelong, lifetime journey, and if you want to get to goal and stay there, you're, gonna, you're not gonna eat any differently than you are now. The way I'm eating now, this is how I plan on eating my whole life. Carbs are a part of that. Do you really plan on never having carbs for the rest of your life? If the answer is yes, then go ahead and take them out. Go, more power to you. But for, for a lot of us, I think the answer is no. Like we want our breads, we want our good stuff. All, 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 all that good stuff, we want it and we should have it. So yeah, carbs, keep them, keep them in your diet. But there's two types of carbs though. There's simple carbs and then there's complex carbs. Simple carbs, which like convert to sugar or are sugar, like cake and stuff like that. And then complex carbs, which are like oatmeal, um, potatoes, whole wheat pasta, things along that nature. And usually we think cake, like cake, that's carbs. But there's a lot of foods um, with a lot of, sorry, I'm like blanking. There's a lot of foods, or a lot of foods have carbs that help us get to goal. Yeah. They do. Carbs can help us get to goal. Starchy vegetables have a lot of carbs, but they can help us get to goal. Like sweet potato. You eat sweet potato means you're not eating something else. Beans and lentils have a lot of carbs. You eat beans and lentils. Might keep you away from the Ritz crackers. Again, it's balancing it out. If you have more complex carbs, you might not reach for the simple carbs. And you should be having the complex carbs because they also they're also they have the nutrients that your body needs. It's not it's not healthy at all either to like cut something like that out of your diet altogether. You have to balance it all. And here's a fun fact I learned today. Ready for it? I didn't know this before. I just learned it today at my meeting. It's carbs are the number one macronutrient that gives energy to your brain. But the thing is we're eating more than our brain needs and we're eating more than our digestive system needs. So like I asked him, I was like, okay, this is where it gets a little funky and a little weird. So I asked him like, Scott, then does Weight Watchers recommend like, or you know, what is weight, how many grams of carbs should we be eating then? Dude did not have an answer. He was like, um, what did he say? He said Weight Watchers, uh, I don't remember. Oh yeah, that Weight Watchers doesn't recommend or have a recommendation for how, they don't take a stance on how much we should be eating. And I'm like, well then how do we know we're eating too many carbs or too less carbs? Like, I don't understand what's happening, but I guess it's a personal thing, your personal choice, how you wanna, I, I, I don't know. But I was like, all right, that's fine. So, yeah, but if you want to reduce your carbs, if you feel like you're eating too many carbs and you want to reduce them, um, the most effective strategy is portion control. So a lot of us or a lot of people probably have uh, um, non-starchy vegetables as their zero point foods. Start portioning them out. It's not no cake. It's just less cake. Mini portion cakes, mug cakes, things like that. Fruits. Fruits can really help. Yes, fruits have carbs. Every single food on earth seems to have carbs. Fruits can help. You eat fruit, you're not eating sweets. It can it can help with those. I, 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 know, I know, but it can help with the sweet cravings. Substitutions. There's also substitutions you can do. You can do low carb. I don't know how low carb works because sometimes I look at the nutritional thing and it's like carbs, 19 grams. Is that a lot? Is that less? I don't know, but substitutions... You can, like if you're having a burger, you can just have the bottom bun or the top bun, whichever you prefer. You can take the contents out and put it like, just have a bowl, have a bowl. You go to Chipotle, don't get the burrito, just get the bowl. Um, some lady says she went to In-N-Out and she would like take out, she wouldn't get the bun. She wouldn't get the bun. She would just get what's in it and then she would just wrap it in like a tortilla. So that's the way. And, um, what else? I'm trying to think. Yeah, but carbs are also a way for how we get our veggies in. 
pasta, whole grain pasta. You, you, I don't just really have pasta like that. I put in veggies. So I'll put in like just the veggies. There you go. Chipotle, you, the rice, brown rice, white rice, whatever you want. And then you load it up with veggies. I think that's how a lot of people do it. Don't have like two cups of oatmeal. Have like half a cup. Reduce it, reduce it. So that's just one way. But um, and then like some tips that he gave were you can have brown rice at home, but when you go out, that's when you can have white rice because white rice is not off the menu. Nothing's off the menu. It depends on you. Yogurt, get plain yogurt, add your own fruit in, but you can also have like the already flavored yogurt. You can have that as well. I like the two, what is it? The two ingredient, the two whatever, the two good. That one has less carbs. It has like one gram of carbs or something like that. So I like the cherry flavored one. And if we are reducing carbs, we don't want to eliminate them all together because that backfires, dude. Diets short term, no carbs can work, but long term, no. So that's, that's what he talked about at the meeting today. And I thought it was really good information. So don't be afraid of carbs have them and if you feel like you need to reduce them or if you feel like yeah i'm eating too much do it in a healthy good way eat, eat just a little bit less start portioning it out so that's what i learned today and i'm just conveying this information to you and it's for you to do with as you please now balls in your court as for me i i don't know i don't i don't think i eat tons of carbs but i can be more conscious about it so i think that's what i'm gonna do let me know your thoughts on carbs. Let me know in the comments below. Did you learn anything new? Let me know. I don't know. Let's talk. Let's talk carbs in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love that you guys tune in. Continue tuning in. Next week, it's going to be another food myth. So I'll see you guys maybe on Monday. I'll do what I eat in a day. But I'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And I'll see you guys later. I want to go watch TV now. So bye. Be sure to subscribe and like and, and, and something else and comment. There we go. So see you guys next time. Bye.